Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round four of the Galactic Championship Qualifier. Thank you so much for joining us today. We got Andrew Prevo versus John Fouch in this battle of the Empire versus the Rebellion. Absolutely classic with some... Uh, with some ships that we haven't really seen as of late. Excited to break this down in, in a bit. Today I'm joined by William Hagwood. Hello, everyone. And James Ritter. Hey, guys. Excited to be here. Ow, 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 ow. Well, today our broadcast is brought to you by the Galactic Championship Series. Today is the final qualifier of... That we've had eight of them going into the battle for Alderaan. The culmination, the one, the only, once a year, the Galactic Championship. We'll find out who's going to get crowned the champion of the galaxy here uh, in November. That first, uh, the second, I think it's the second week. November, the weekend of November 6th. Uh, we'll, we'll be live here. And of course, if you're a player... Make sure to get signed up. Uh, you were you should have been sent your invitation. And if you think you're supposed to have an invite, but you don't, contact me. We may have made a mistake. It happens. We are human. All right. So, Will, I want you to go ahead and break down this list because it is time for people at home to choose their champion. Right. Fantastic. Uh, let's start with Andrew here on your left. You bet one all champion. Uh, we're flying the Empire. In a very uh, diverse list, uh, it has these frontline troops, uh, which is the Academy pilots, uh, three of them in TIE Fighters there. And uh, we have the I-1 Interceptor, the Alpha Squadron pilot leading the charge out there uh, in front. Uh, of course, it has the three attack dice and the auto thrusters over the regular academy and pilot. And then for a kind of support tank, um, that's Leighton Dre in the heavy uh, rocking and targeting assist uh, configuration, uh, allowing them to get uh, multiple calculates if they do not have a green token and are not stressed. Also gives them a rotate to calculate linked action. Uh, Layton's able to give rerolls if Layton's on the side arc of the attacking ship. Um, always interesting to see how players approach that conundrum of getting uh, the Layton rerolls. Uh, has synced laser cannons for that three dice attack. Uh, remember the tie heavies have rotating cannons as a ship ability. So anytime they swivel their mobile arc, that's the same arc they're going to be using for their cannons. Um, we see it in the front here uh, as uh, they approach uh, the uh, opposing squad. And then a hull upgrade, Dion, hull upgrade. <laughs> Putting it to a total of nine hull. On I feel heavy. attacked. I feel attacked. We're only getting lists with hull upgrades as a note. I'm um, telling you. We're encouraging all players to find find a hull upgrade in your list. Uh, <laughs> I, I, especially when it messes with the half point threshold. That's that's really the secret sauce. <laughs> uh, mess with Dion, mess with your opponent. Uh, get them hull upgrades. And then rounding out the list uh, is Soon Tier Fell uh, in another interceptor. I can get a focus token if there's a ship in its bullseye at the start of engagement and then has predator for rerolls in bullseye as well in addition to uh that ship chassis the auto thrusters uh performing red bear rolls and or excuse me or boosts um had to perform an action so great way to get some uh rerolls there uh, with Layton everyone's got some pretty good attack power three dice um, three of the ships, two attack dice on the two other ones. Uh, this is the kind of archetype that I'm expecting in a 200 point world, 200 point random player bid, is that you need uh, mixed arms, right? You have your in game ace and soon tier, 
You have a tanky support ship, right? Something to draw some fire, something to help out your allies um, in Layton. And then you have your, your frontline troops. Uh, these happen to have three agility, which is pretty good. Um, but they're getting uh, double modified attacks as well through that reroll of Layton. So super interesting to see how uh, it plays out against their opponent here, uh, which is John flying the Rebellion. Uh, John's got two uh, E-Winks uh, kitted out the exact same. Uh, they have Elusive for rerolls on defense, Pattern Analyzer to take actions while doing red moves, uh, Fire Control System to reroll a die when they're attacking a ship with a lock, and R3 Astromech uh, to get multiple locks, uh, which we see out on, let's take a look here. Uh, that would be Academy 2 and the Alpha Squadron Pilot, the two ships out in front there. Um, they got those locks with experimental scanners, allowing the E-Wings to acquire locks beyond range 3. Uh, they just cannot acquire locks at range 1. Pretty cool. One of them is Gavin Darklighter, uh, which is able to... Well, I'll just read the ability, because we rarely see him. Went down in price, so... Uh, might be seeing him a lot more. The Bold Wingman uh, says, While a friendly ship performs an attack, if the defender is in your front arc, the attacker may choose one hit result, change one hit result to a critical result. So, works on himself or other ships uh, attacking people in his arc. Uh, and fortunately for Gavin... Uh, the opposing force brought zero shields down, uh, so we're going to be seeing a lot of crits uh, go through. Uh, pre I'm tempted to say almost every damage is going to be face up here uh, with Gavin Darklight around the board. You want a crit? You want a crit? Yeah, you're going to get a crit. You're going to get a crit. Everyone's going to get a crit. Uh, and rounding out the list is Luke Skywalker uh, rocking. Uh, two force has advanced proton torpedoes for a range one five dice attack uh, that also changes a hit to a crit uh, look out for that and R2 astromech I'm going to assume it's R2D2 but R2 astromech by card title here and uh, that's a disarm to recover a shield when you activate when you reveal your dial specifically uh, so it keeps Luke uh, on the board longer, uh, if he needs to disengage from the fight, take a turn off, recover a shield. Um, and could be very good with those two force, obviously gets him back on defense, so he can take uh, a barrage of shots here uh, from the swarm. Uh, but we see these, um, these Imperials really kind of doing this kind of, what I call the sweep, uh, where you push out uh the opposing force and uh, make them kind of stick together here mm -hmm. um a little bit easier to track them uh, when they're all together being pushed into the center of the board yeah i i really like um the i like the the sweep like you said it pushes them together especially when you're flying in this type of uh formation this block formation Mm -hmm. Cause essentially what you have is uh, it's a big cone, right? You're like right. you have a cone of death, the giant firing arc, and say if you are in here, this is bad for you. Uh, but if you have the flexibility of similar initiatives, like he does with all those initiative ones, uh, and enough maneuverability, then you can stay in that block and break it. And breaking it at the right time and being able to get. Uh, shots on target is when uh, is when these type of swarm lists can uh, can win games. Yeah, if they can get all those arcs on a single target, they can put out some serious hurt. All right, uh, Ewing's moving fast here, really trying to get around the academies as we see the forces begin the toilet bowl closer and closer to the edge uh, into the center of the board and soon tier did that one hard barrel rolling 
out. And, and right there, I feel like Suntier is total bait right now. It's like, hey, c come, well, those come e out here. Those E-Wings did switch their locks over to uh, Suntier off of the Alpha. I mean, that's the end game ship that uh, the Empire is going to lean on uh, to fight, uh, you know, one on one. Mm -hmm. So if you can take that down early, uh, you can start then initiative killing the rest of the squad. So trying to trying to take an early advantage there. Or at least maybe try to spook them. All right. So we got the barrel roll. We got the mm -hmm. boost moving more towards that. Uh that swarm i'm curious to see if those e-wings are going to go fast again or slow as you could you could get if you go too fast pursuing soon tier soon tier could pretty easily uh if he hits the gas be untouchable and then you have that entire uh the entire firing group there on the right side for the empire uh just bearing down on you yeah i think there's there's going to be a good lane here for the empire uh, to kind of cut in, uh, they have the choice of going between the gas clouds, but more likely than not, we'll just hard three in uh, towards the center of the board. Like I said, I, I always imagine it. Uh, I don't. I don't have a better analogy other than how a toilet bowl uh, <laughs> goes down. Or we, we, you know, when you drop, uh, they used to have like things you drop coins in at the mall. Yeah, that's that's a dated reference. Uh, coins and malls. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think before you know the I dark mean. times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, the the swirling inward, uh, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, pretty pretty standard here, and uh, both of the forces, you know, gonna end up meeting in the middle. Uh what you might call a dishonorable joust. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, let's see. They were double checking on that's Gavin. Gavin did boost five forward boost and then change his lock over to soon tier. So yep, is, is stressed. That's going to limit on uh, the maneuvers there uh, to what? Just one and two bank. What is just the, your... just, the, just the one bank? It's not. It's not great. Mm, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. that R that R four astromech really makes the E wing shine. But you have to lose the you have to lose the, the second R3. lock. Though, yeah, don't you? The second lock and fire control system so good though. That, yeah, oh, it makes you it lets you say I, I, you don't know which ship I'm going after. Mm -hmm. Do you want movement flexibility or firing priority flexibility? You can you can't have both. Which one I, do you want? I think on Corin you could probably get away with getting the R four because he's getting the the turnarounds and stuff like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But oh, man, it's it's hard to it's hard to get rid of that R three. Yeah. So good. Uh, fire control system. I don't understand how it's worth two points. Uh, it's pretty crazy to me. So you you're saying least... like like buy, buy on fire control. You're just like oh, yes, buy buy buy. Oh yeah, buy for sure. The uh, I want to describe it. It essentially you see it uh, ex almost exclusively on ships that are either incentivized for taking locks like an X1 or having a lock at that point, right? Or on people who can get locks easily. Uh, things with like Jendon or uh, uh, like probe droids if uh, you're using it on tri-fighters. Or like here on the E-Wings with their exper experimental scanner long-range locks. Uh, super, super good. I don't think there's anybody else that can take that combo, though, right? Fire control system in R3. I think that's exclusive to the E-Wing. And here we go. We're getting the pew-pews started. Luke Skywalker from downtown 
Two hits. Four dice on defense. Oh, no. Hold the phone. We got a lock. He accidentally re-rolled the hit. Uh, it, was, it was only one hit. I think it got jostled when he was touching it. Got it. All right. Spend the focus. That TIE Fighter takes one damage. So Luke able to uh, to go ahead and, and get something started here. Yeah. Though not I am, in I'm Gavin's a little, arc, so not a yeah. crit. I'm a little worried about uh, a little worried about that firing group just like jumping down Luke's throat next turn. Yeah, two bank through that lane. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Now, now the intercept is in the back of the formation. I was worried about him kind of leading the charge, but uh, looks fine. Well, it doesn't. Seem to be in too much problem here. All right, so All right, that found so found a shot. All right, gonna get it. Long range, no late in re re rolls here. Mm, they're they're checking on. It. Let's see if uh, it's range three side arc. And it is. Oh, it sure is. Side arc. I think I was looking at the tie fight. It was one of the arcs that I saw. All right, here we go. One hit. Mm, Reroll didn't help. I still got some though. Elusive. Hey. So is that what that's what he's yeah. reaching for? Might might as well, especially if you got a red maneuver planned. It did not help. Uh, yeah, James had mentioned before the game that. Uh, the combination of elusive and pattern analyzer. I know Marcel talked about it a lot when E Wings had gotten the tech slot. Yeah, uh, it's, being able... it's incredible. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not have rerolls on offense, uh, rerolls on defense, and uh, when every other turn you use pattern analyzer to do a red maneuver and take a focus action. Oh man. Yeah. It's basically, yeah. Every it's like you do the sloop or the 4k and then you do like one bank or a four straight and then you do the sloop or the 4k and you you're basically just like going back and forth kind of over the same spot. Sort of, sort of like a, a two turn defender. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, so that, I mean that's that's a beautiful seven point combo compared to uh, the uh, what is it now? I think it's up to thirteen points for advanced sensors on a small base. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, and you have to give up fire control system like that. That's uh, that comparison of yeah. would you pay nine points for fire control system, elusive, and pattern analyzer? Or 13 points for advanced sensors. Yeah, it's no brainer. Yeah, I know what I'm choosing, and that's what uh, the uh, uh, some of the changes uh, with the advanced sensors being moved away. Star Vipers uh, have to take like Prime Thrusters or Pattern Analyzer now, um, so they don't can't do as much pre-position maneuvering. Yeah, there there is a Guri floating around near the top. Uh, mm. I want to, I want to, I want to grab uh, and put and Ooh. throw in and throw in here for the stream because that looks that looks fun. It's Guri, Dalen, <laughs> and Kanan. So it's what? two Star Vipers and Kanan. Two base support. Okay. Yeah, it, it looks Classic super archetype. super interesting with uh, especially with Guri not having the advanced sensors anymore. Uh -huh. they, you have to like make choices on your dial. It's interesting. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> have to make choices. Yeah, you can't just dial in the one bank and be like, "I'll I'll figure it out." <laughs> well, it lets you it lets fine. you do linked actions more often too, right? Like, oh yeah, I'll link it this round. At the next round, I'll just barrel into range one without clearing my stress. Pretty impactful. I don't yeah. think we'll. I don't think I've seen any. An E wing with primed thrusters yet? Um, I don't think it would really maybe. do well. I mean, they also, as we pointed out, have terrible blues, but don't link as often though. 
because they only have the link to lock instead of the Star Vipers a link to focus. Yeah, I think I would rather just set like not not get good, but like just not be in a position that I need prime. Get good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just the Star Viper in 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 and of itself uh, does have a lot of abilities, but it's people like to play it safe, right? So you take the Prime Thrusters as an insurance policy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, well, it looks like Ooh, the Empire, yeah, uh, kind of, yeah. I'm kind of surprised we didn't go at Luke, but maybe was that too obvious? I think I think uh, we're just doing two two trade. Yeah, there's another choo-choo train here. I mean, they overcommit, and Luke goes three bank left boost, and they're looking at a whole lot of nothing with two wing wings flanking them. True uh, that. This is some great arc coverage here, all the way from Layton's uh, arc uh, sweeping around all the way to Pink's arc on the other side. Uh, huge coverage there. That's like 200 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. Pretty All right. good. Oh, sup, Rogue Squadron. All right, he's got a couple of arcs to contend with. Boosting to the left would get him at least out of pink. Might get him out of them all, maybe? Nah, I doubt it. I don't know if boost straight would get you out of blues. Oh, that's going to be close. Yeah, I think was, it's in, though. That was the move I was talking about. Yeah, it is it is very close. I, will, I wanted the boost straight to uh, to shoot at Layton, but I forgot soon Tear Fell is flying out around there. <laughs> uh, and that rogue does have the lock on soon Tear, so just keep, a little bit of soon Tear hunting while keep that you're... Uh, Trying to dodge here, and uh, we see finally uh, John here uh, utilizing the the triple ace strategy, coming in from three different points, making the swarm start to break up and choose uh, which way to engage. Uh, we got pad and analyzer thrown up on the screen, uh, which we talk about doing red maneuvers and getting those actions. Uh, for the E-Wing, gets the Elusive back as well. And yeah, we saw it. Luke bailed. He saw what you saw, Dion. Mm -hmm. was like, nah, mm -mm. I don't know. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds real bad. Yeah, but you know, it, you know, hindsight's 50, uh, 20 20, right? Because if he would have done like a one forward this turn, he would have just gotten free shots with the possibility oh, yeah. of even tempting the squad to completely split up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was it was a big risk. A little bit too obvious there. I will see if Soon is gonna try to barrel for that bullseye. Or do you barrel out boost and try to just arc dodge here? Yeah, just Ow. just dodge the arc because the the U is gonna have a hard time to get back in. Mm. Well, I mean he's got he's got pattern analyzer swoop, uh, sloops, right? Yeah. Three sloop or four K uh, is okay. So uh, mm, that's going to boost. That's still in arc at range one. Yep. So it has to barrel roll them. There you go. Gets out. Nice and done. Oh, he's tempting the middle. Okay. All right. That's uh... was. <laughs> Risky business. Suits here doing suit two things. Trying to court death over here. <laughs> Get as close to the as close to dying as possible. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Alright, here we go. E Wings on parade. Here comes Gavin Darklighter from downtown. There's oh is that gonna be that's triple crits isn't it with his triple ability? Yeah, hit to crit from that Gavin ability. One crit does end up going through here. It's a council fire. Mm, yeah, that was the damaged academy with the locks on it as well. 
So it could go down to that council fire. And we see the rogue with no arc on soon tier. That blue academy is going to activate. Council fire takes the damage. Oh. Wow. Just give away a TIE fighter. You can just have it. Yeah. It's fine. Nice uh nice snipes there. Um with by uh Luke and Gavin putting that extra damage through. Are we spawning something? What's going on right now? Uh his backup list, I believe. Oh. He forgot to actually check arc with the with the blue. Oh. Well, this, this is a situation where it should have been already spawned, so that we're not having to go and. and uh, yeah, he had, he had the disc ready to go, but uh, you're going to have to restore it here. You know, did have arc. Happens to the best of us. Get so distracted by the council fire. One uh, crit. Layton. Got it. Uh, Hit in a crit, it, and good use of Leighton there. Two, two, uh, two natties, two evades, mm, three agility tyranny. <laughs> we got a T-shirt for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we deal out that damage, and that Tie Fighter. The pink one does not have anything. Does Interceptor have range? Yes. It's obstru uh, Well, sorry. We're going to go with the TIE Fighter first. This one's obstructed. Two on the... Should be four. And uh, he's one more die. One more die. I guess it doesn't, it, it doesn't end up mattering because really he, matter he gets the force back. Yeah, Luke spends for force. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter. Hit, hit, crit. This one's only three, though. They're talking it down that it doesn't matter. He he's going to reroll the four. Continues to not matter. Yep. There we go. And he'll so be then Luke gets the force back after uh, becoming the defender. And going to lose some shields to that. There you go. Hit crit. Go through. Uh, it does have that R2 Astromech. If uh, Luke wants to just take a couple turns off, heal back up. Save himself for the end game. See what the E-Wings can uh, take off the board until then. He can also just dial in the three talon, and then based on like what the the uh, tie fighters do here, he could choose to take that R two, or he may get a good shot. Yep, because he, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a that's a great point, James. Because you get to use use your initiative to your advantage in that situation. Don't necessarily lock it in. Yeah, yeah, it's unlikely to get a shot unless they come in real Hot. fast. Yeah. Oh man, that yeah. I guess green could probably fly past the rock, but the intercept is gonna have to do something to maneuver around it, like to two bank boost uh to correct itself. Or it could one hard and then boost. One hard right towards the top of the board and then boost. I like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to get Layton's actual gun to the fight here. Uh along with Soon Tier, but I mean this is the this is, has to do with John. I questioned it at first. I uh, you know, bunched them all up together, but uh, some quick maneuvers spread out a little bit, uh, and is now able to start attacking from multiple angles. Yeah, yeah and those it, e wings I, are fast. Yeah, they're really fast, hundred percent. And I think the 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 additional level here is, um, I think the spread out, the spread out. Procedure, uh, procedure, what am I talking about? The spread out strategy with those three pieces um, 
worked especially well because of Andrew's choice of entry into the rocks. So mm-hmm. let's say that center rock wasn't there. Um, the the squadron probably would have stayed together and just gone forward. In that case, the split up may have been a bad thing because all of a sudden now you have four to five ships on one. Uh, as opposed, you know, but if, in this situation right now, you had a ship, two ships pointing in one direction, two in the other. So I think it's going to always be dependent on on what your opponent ends up doing, right? Because if you're playing against a block formation that doesn't separate and they catch you that's gonna be a bad day if they catch you just don't get caught easy right i just don't get caught no big deal right <laughs> um now someone had mentioned it uh i forget who, what their um the context of it was but as a note uh without bringing the r4 Astro mac uh, the hard one is a red maneuver. Um, they can still pattern analyze and get your elusive back on. Uh, so pretty that's, interesting that's a, there. That's a fair point. I don't really use the hard one a lot, but maybe take that into mind. I'm, I may start using it more. Uh, yeah, I mean, gets you your elusive back. Uh, we've seen it with uh, like a proud tradition pattern analyzer SF. Uh, mm. takes advantage of those red hard ones. So, um, it, the the rebellion here learning some tricks uh, from the sequel factions about where you can take advantage of those text slots. So, where did Layton take her target lock? That's actually his. On, but, uh, uh, that's on, on to you, Gavin. Gavin. Yeah, crit man out there. Assuming Luke's gonna go away. And heal. And Gavin's sitting right in the middle of all that, but only being threatened by one ship. I think he just trade shots here. Mm Mm-hmm. Focus up. Let's go. I got my elusive. I roll crits. Have elusive. (laughs) All right, so then considering here the Luke region, I wonder if he did the Talon roll or not. Really? Okay. All right. Stays in to fight. Should have his wings open. His his card says open. Yeah. But the, the token did not at the time. No big deal. I mean, when you dial... This is my thing. It was my little soapbox uh, about uh, that. Uh, especially in this situation. Bring in uh, the soapbox! Luke, <laughs> Luke already made the decision not to boost. Right? Right. So there's absolutely no reason for him to keep his wings closed. Right? Right. There's no, like, AP5 to coordinate him while stressed next round or Ahsoka around to give him, like, a boost action even while stressed. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I already had made the decision not to flip. Or not to boost, rather. So no reason not to flip. I get the same thing with, like, U-Wings, where it's like, well, I chose not to stop. Why would I keep my wings closed, right. you know? All right. Well, here but if we. You're g- like a Poe Dameron, though. I go yeah, on. that's different. Gonna, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you have like real choices. All right, spend one force. That's going to be three. I didn't catch the target. Uh, it's four dice. So I'm assuming it's the interceptor. Yep. Spends the focus. Takes a crit. That is a fuel leak. On that's, yellow. Uh, that's a dead interceptor. Basically, no matter what. It gone. And yeah, Gavin's like, ooh, critical damage, I mean, you say. Blank out. We mean no matter what. One hit. Spend focus for three. One becomes a crit if he remembers to use Gavin's ability. He does. And hit, crit, goes in. Boom, goes the dynamite. How about a direct hit on top? Yellow interceptor goes down.
James accidentally giving premature death to the green TIE fighter. He's pr are you predicting something, James? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. All right, we got uh, Lane actually went with the target lock, so it gets the targeting synchronizer. Yep. I calculate for having a ship at range three. And you got two. He's going to go ahead and spend the target lock. He's going for max damage. Going to go both. I don't know what just happened here. Oh, they're shooting the rogue. First. Ah, yes. They're going to hold off on that attack. Come back to it in a second. One critical damage. Range three shot. Safe. All right. Now, now Layton for real. Layton shooting range one this time. Uh, had a complicated roll last time with the double eyeballs. Uh, so they're just putting that back into the box. There was and a pause situation there. Didn't spend the target lock. Just took the two hits. And not going to be able to push it through. Two evades there on the E-Wing. Yeah, really wishing would have would have uh, just taken a focus. I guess you get the lock for next round, though. Mm -hmm. Single crit coming in from that pink TIE fighter. And Luke able to shake it off. Next TIE fighter coming in. Spend focus for two. And you're going to get both of those through. That's half points on Luke Skywalker. Uh, yes, it is. That does have the, uh, the R2 droid, but would have to utilize both of them to heal back up above half. And the position of Luke here, stressed. Three Imperials about to go bear down on him. I doubt he's going to have time to run away and heal. Yeah, but if you if you can, yeah, if you can uh if you're John, you're feel, you're feeling hungry for that Luke Skywalker. Cause if you take him out, that's going to put you ahead 70 to 54. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the the choices here for Leighton um Need to keep that gun in the fight. And honestly, Soon Tear. Soon Tear has been too busy trying to stay alive, unable to get some meaningful shots in. So, a couple people asking about the, the targeting assist. Uh, should Leighton have had two calculates? Uh, the assist reads. Um, uh, gain one calculate token for each enemy ship at range two to three in your firing arc for a maximum of two. So because that E-wing, that red E-wing, Gavin, was sitting there at range one, that made it so that th he was only get able to get the calculate for Luke at range three. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's a that's another thing that went down recently in points as well. Uh, the the heavies in general, um, in addition to uh, targeting assist, uh, going down to just one point. And kind of staying on the same vein, one of the cards I, I'm I'm curious if we're ever actually going to see it competitively. Um, is the this is not related to this game, but the, the Tide Defender Elite. That's another like mm -hmm. title. Or a configuration mm -hmm. that went down and like went to zero originally yeah. was paid points. We identified very early like this is worse. Why would you? Why would you take this? this? Is, yeah, uh, and got dropped down to free. Interesting here. So this is a pattern analyzer barrel roll out of range one to change locks. Onto Leighton. 
for the double stress there. Mm -hmm. uh, one from the linked action and one from the red maneuver. So you can do that, but it, it, it costs you. We'll see if it ends up being uh, ends up being worth it. One bank there for Luke. Target lock. He's just gonna stay stay at range one and pop. Pull the trigger. Yeah, that's an advanced proton torpedo. Uh huh. Yeah, better look out. Five dice. Oh, soon tier gets blocked. That slow move by the Rogue Squadron escort money prevents soon tier from participating in the uh, offense this turn. Because if the E wing would have gone yeah. faster to try to pursue the Empire, soon tier would have been right on his tail. Yeah, between the early pop of that blue and soon tier not being in the fight. Uh, Ooh, the Rebels the are just pushing the damage through so easily. We just got five hits there for uh, for Luke Skywalker. Spend the focus, otherwise you're dead. You have to. <laughs> you're going to take double double crits here. Blinded I, pilot and damage sensor array. Uh, things Things to worry about next round. Yep. Uh, but not this round. Maybe the rogue and Gavin shoot at it to try to clear it out. Gavin did all those things to just move his lock, though. Could have just focused. Shot the TIE fighter, but... We're going to go... Going into the heavy. A whiff. Has a target lock out oh, there, though. Yeah, just spend it. You need to, you need to get a crit through here. Uh, hit crit. You will get one. Double crits with Gavin's ability. And you're going to get both through. Direct hit for the first one. And the second one is a disabled power regulator. When you engage, take some ions. Remember, direct hit is double damage. Get a card, take another. Ooh, all paint here from the focused up E Wing. Mm hmm. Spending for three. Yeah, so that's another crit coming and in. And another direct hit from that E Wing. Lan getting absolutely punished. Uh, yeah, we're, like, we're starting to see the power of those crits now. Uh, as they just been relentless. See, uh, targeting assist gets a uh, calculate here for the shot on Luke. <laughs> and here we go. Next shot, we got two hits and a focus. Layton spends a calculate for Single three. Single blank here. Double blank. Double blank. Pop, pop, pop. Luke goes down. All right, so after all that trading, the Rebellion uh, loses Luke Skywalker, but is still ahead by 19 points, 70 to 89. Emilito in the chat says, I always hear Dion's voice yelling direct hit whenever one comes up in my games. <laughs> You know what we should do, Will? We should record like a um, a GSP uh, soundboard. Like soundboard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeehaw! Gold Squadron out. Yep. Uh, there, <laughs> just a button that just is Marcel just saying words in <laughs> incorrectly. <laughs> Danny Cheeseburger. Danny, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> L L Eller Ber Eller Burger, um, <laughs> Cannon, the uh, oh, Cannon, Cannon is, is another one. <laughs> Not Cannon. I'm gonna blame that one on the weird Midwestern and Chicago accent. It's it's weird. So 
some people in Chicago have a Chicago accent, but some people have a Midwestern accent in Chicago. Uh huh. And uh, I think you, you and Marcel are uh, some of the people who float back and forth between the two. Huh. Interesting. You not so much. You have that, you know, that prof- very professional presentation voice, <laughs> uh, where you don't really have an accent as much. I got the the TV. Uh, I the TV accent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It catches occasionally. It does. It does. I, I, especially, I think, if you hang out with me all day. <laughs> you start seeing pod, pod kiest a lot. Oh, they're doing their best. Uh. <laughs> Double ears. All right. Why does Gavin have two stress tokens is a question out there. So um, on the pattern analyzer, on the K-turn that the uh, – that the E-Wing did. Use Pattern Analyzer to perform an action. And you can perform a Link action off of that action. He did. And then he also got the stress from the K-Turn. So, did some shenanigans. Ended up double stressed. We'll see if it ends up being worth it. Because as you can see, two TIE Fighters are bearing down upon you. So Jorner saying on on location at the car dealer, yay for complimentary Wi-Fi. <laughs> hey, when you can, you, you just got to. Yep. Watch some X Wing. That rogue just keep keeping it nice and casual. Basically, trying to stay in a spot where soon tier can't can't uh, can't pursue. Ooh, I don't I don't like the barrel roll actually. I'm not a fan of that one. Because now well, you've getting, opened up the sloop to the right and getting shot. You think Sundar is really going to sloop? Well, why not? You, you're If if you would have played it with short moves... Because Green just, could have slooped. Oh, boom, no, he does. Shaka Laka, Will! You yeah, doubt you, me! You called it. Yeah, called I, I, I it! I did doubt. I did doubt. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, hey, it's what Suntir needed to do to actually roll red dice in this game. That's so. right, to get out. You, had to, you need a space. All right, here we go. I mean, this this is the turn. Now that the E-Wings have <sighs> uh, tokens. And takes one. It's a oh, shield no, down. Elusive. Yep, recovered it with that 4K earlier. Not today. Yeah, not helping. You would think, uh, like a conditional stealth device would actually be useful, but not very good not. right now. <laughs> All right, uh, it looks like just barely is... unobstructed from the uh, uh, from Gavin to Layton. Layton has four hole left. Yeah, no mods here. Had to spend the lock last round. Single crit and single evade. Oh man, the Empire clawing its way back here. After losing uh, one of the interceptors and Suntir basically been non existent for this fight. Um, it's uh, Leighton uh, with that synced laser cannon out here doing the heavy lifting. And can you lead yourself? Apparently, confident. Three, Three. friendly ship, not another. Yeah, that's a full nice. string, and you're only gonna get one. Oh, hey, that's points though. Oh, you're right. That's half, and that pulls the empire ahead, 102 to 89. I'm telling you, soon has got some room to move now with that sloop. Sloop, doo ba doop. Tie fighters into Gavin, trying to soften the target. Hit crit. Oh, okay. Oh, or just roll natties. That's fine. Uh, Lane here uh, should be in the side arc as well. I never know how to judge where Layton needs to be to get side arcs. You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. It's just a weird ability. Double crits and double evades. That Gavin Darklighter refusing to take damage. Yeah, double stressed, but greens are ready. Um, we see that second ion come down on Layton uh, from that disabled power regulator. So going one forward and focusing. Should be an easy target for Gavin to come up and clean it out. It would be interesting to see how, how soon to reacts to that. Because you have uh, the yellow E-Wing. I mean, yellow E-Wing is just slooping, right? Right. Soon tier can't. Uh, soon tier could hard to, I guess, and threaten that. Hard to barrel. But again, yeah, but it threatened. You need to get... I think two shots on this lane just to make sure it goes down. I agree. Now, uh, because you are four versus it's three, guarantee the initiative kill, and then. Uh, what do I want to say? Uh, what? You, one and a half E wings on a couple of academies and soon tier. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the double crits on pink. One and a half academies. <laughs> I think the 4K is better. I think the 4K would give you the option to shoot on soon tier. Could be interesting. At least make soon tier think about turning in. Yeah, uh -huh. could you 4K and then bear roll on the other side of light and that way you can't shoot you? Mm. Ah, you're gonna kill that ship though, right? You'd hope. <laughs> right? Question? Question mark? Hopefully, hope. You can throw what seven dice at it or so, single modded. You'd hope. So what's our score right now? One hundred two. What is that? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. I'm having my back is bothering me. I'm having to lay on the floor right now and look up at my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do for X Wing. Get get my stretch on right now. Oh yeah. We're, stay stay uh, flexible, y'all. <laughs> what round what round is it? This is round four. We got two more. Two more. Uh did we get a confirmation? On the top cut. Did oh, it's a 32, baby. Top 32 tomorrow. Nice. What was the total today, then? We were at, like, 150-something, uh, James? I think 156. Hold on, I can count. And we, I know, 156, uh, yep. I know the judges were describing it being... Need, needing to be like 149, 146, something like that, um, to get the top 32. So excited for uh, that tomorrow. Another five games. Is that right? I always lose track. Mm -hmm. Yep. 32, Final 16, four. four. And yeah, five oh, games. Oh. So we did get that sloop on the E-Wing, as expected. Not going to have any actions there. Soon tier can punish that yellow E-Wing, though. And if you uh, if you get lucky, you might be able to, uh, to initiative kill it. It's risky. But it might be worth it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's eight uh, modded dice. Does soon tier have any... Does soon tier have predator? Yeah. Oh, of course, Steel. Come All on. Alright. Foc focus boost, baby. Or evade boost. Nah, you could you could evade barrel roll. That works too. Make sure you get that range one. Don't don't get why are you going to the back? No, nah, he's got it. He's got it. So it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. He should no be panic. Fine. Sorry, the screen's the a little medium, far away. <laughs> the <laughs> the medium bases. Uh, deceptive sometimes when it's when you're trying to measure things around it. Yeah. Because uh, it is. Uh, you just can't use it for reference to measure squares. Oh, uh, yeah. 
So uh, soon tier finally get into the fight. I think he'll make a difference. Here we go. This is big money. This matters so much right oh, now. Oh, man. So, yeah, we have elusive focus versus reroll focus. Four dice. Spend the focus. That's a full strength. What are you doing? Spend the focus. Spend Can't it. Play in the predator. No. Oh, my. They're going to shoot at Leighton. Oh. Oh, oh, he did it. He you did lucky it. Yo. duck. Oh. You lucky duck. Would you gamble? <laughs> All right, here's here's a elusive. He's got a focus. He could stay alive right now. Assuming yeah, that the Chris not a the double. First. Man, those elusive rerolls. No wonder it went down in price. Hit crit. What do we get, Will? <laughs> oh man, it's a structural damage. <laughs> Structural so damage. One health, two agility, E-Wing. Uh, but they're going to bring the pain here and try to make sure that Leighton dies so it does not kill that E-Wing. Uh, three three hits. hits. One turns to a crit because Gavin rolling that defense has a focus. Uh. Takes yeah, hit spend crit. It while you, spend it while you got it. I believe that was a blinded. Is that right? A blinded. Oof. So no latent, no free calculates uh, to help you out. Just got to survive. Sit this, you got to survive this shot. Uh, can take only one damage here. So uh, three paint from the E wing will, or no. Had to spend its focus, didn't it? Yep. So hit crit. Needs the natty of aid, Layton. No, it goes down. So sad. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, that, that was the expected result. Yep. But... Uh, Gavin didn't have to spend the focus, so should be able to dodge the shot here with elusive and focus against the two attack, uh, unmodified. Well, it's in, still ended up being two hits, I guess. One evade, elusive. Hey, got it that time, though. As good as a shield upgrade, elusive gets... Uh, the squiggle. Does the yellow... Do we have a stress out there? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah. God, no. So, so I want to I wanna have a have a discussion with DR4CAU. So, wh while... What? Sorry, I don't... They don't... It's not really a... Dr Draco? Maybe it's Draco. Uh, it's Draco. Yeah. Draco Oz. Okay. Like Ozzy, so, I assume? Yeah. Maybe. So, the, the... In a vacuum... You're saying reroll is correct, but situationally, I thought it's it's an unnecessary risk. It's an unnecessary risk. You need, in order to look looking at the the game situation, right? You were gonna lose Layton. Your best chance to win the game is offense, mm -hmm. and you know it's I. I I would have rathered have soon tier, uh, you know, take try to maybe pull pull one of those shots away, and you have Layton alive to be able to then take out the E wing. Then you got soon tier plus Layton potentially still alive at that point. Um, you know, cause, uh, causing some temptation there to yeah, uh, but to pull damage. You, if you the, pro the problem is if 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 Gavin one shots Layton. And then the e wing, uh, the rogue can go all in on soon tier with a lot. Yeah, I mean uh, that would be my concern is that the e wing is just like, yeah, whatever, heavy. I'm gonna shoot the double modified four dice into just an evading soon tier. Yeah, so I, I can see why soon tier is scared, Dion. The right, right. I get, it. I get it, I get it. It's just, I, I feel like Andrew's playing from behind. Yeah, right? yeah. I, he's damn. Yeah, that's that's true. 
Because you could very quickly, because Suntier right now can't get too aggressive. He's going to have to do this this turnaround pass. E Wing's going to turn around, pop two TIE Fighters, and then you got two E Wings versus Suntier. Yeah, because uh, Garvin could sloop, right? Yep. But I mean, it worked out. Um, that's That was just my, my reasoning for the, oh, the I think, focus. I think I agree, but. Uh, it's, it's always hard to say. All right, TIE Fighters coming in. Uh, Ewing could get out of Pink's modified arc. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Pink's blind. So both of those shots are unmodified. Yep, it's just a... You might be able to just get out of the arc. Just not not take shots. Oh, or you just go up to murder it. That's fine too. It has one health. <laughs> yeah, why don't you just shoot four dice at? Oh, so he got out of the way of the sleep left from Gavin. Nice. I like that. I like that because that because uh, you can block soon tier and prevent soon tier from shooting. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and could take two shots at that TIE Fighter with the focus. Range one, four on three. And just a crit. Oh, spend that focus on defense. Yeah, I got spend to live. All right, so you'll be taking another one from Gavin. It is range two. Gavin has a focus on this one. Blank out. Oh, no. Predator, you just got so lucky. All right, six dice being thrown here between the two fighter Full fighters. Full barrage. Focus uh, your fire on that yellow E-wing. Yeah, I don't think there's any mods at all around here. Mm -mm. This might so just... be coming up roses for the uh, for the Empire. Here we go. Three dice. Saved by the Saddies. One hit. This has a uh, structural damage yeah. currently. Uh, that was three eyeballs. Oh, that was uh, not. I thought. What? I think it was just on a tilt or something. All right, another chance though. Another no! three red dice. All these wow. pilots are terrible. They're just all bad. Floating around oh. in space, shooting at nothing. Come on. Well, that was uneventful. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we would really see some pop pop going on around yeah. here, you know, but. Uh, we keep the status quo for now. Uh, let me look at... Okay, yeah, yeah. You could hard two or hard one out of that with the rogue squadron. Do you have to fully execute to get elusive yes. back? Yep. Interesting. A okay. and, P and pattern. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you wouldn't hit the rock, though, and risk your life. <laughs> Maybe you Maybe. get three sloop. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Would you risk the bank, Dion? <laughs> you ask, are, are, you, are you asking tactical Dion or cowboy Dion? Cowboy I Dion says all day. I think he the three sloop. I think he <laughs> risk it. I, I think he could do it. Turn back uh, around you, you, for one you, last you shot. De you, de you definitely hit that rock. Mm. Save, Save the game state, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I think he's got it. Save. No problem. Save. We're calling that I don't know. sloop the question three, the three mark. The three bank is not as bendy as you think at the beginning. It's but so it's bendy. bendy. It is bendy, <laughs> though. So, look at, the, look at the curvature of that obstacle. Um, <laughs> it's so bendy. <laughs> It's not as bendy as the one bank, though. 
Yeah, after all these years, I still really have a hard time visualizing one bank. It's like one and a half times the length I assume it is. It's like the, the, the three bank does have more run. The problem is the rice. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, see, yeah, see. See. Well, look over here. Look. Look at. Look at how much more bendy the uh, <laughs> the one bank is. Why are you showing me? Uh, uh. Yeah, but at the very beginning, they're almost identical, though, for about half a template. They're pretty much the same. All right. So here we go. Tie fighters on the move. We did a three left bank. We did a K turn. We got a. 180 arc. Oh, he oh, hits it. He, he slooped it. it. He booped it. Oh, sloop and boop. <laughs> Roll it. He gone. Oh, oh he did another oh, box. No. All right, James. Saved you by the box. One. The box giveth oh. and the box taketh away. <laughs> 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 there are no rules but re rolls in the yep. box. <laughs> Wow, that Ewing risked its life there. It stays. It stays. I uh, can't pattern because of obstacle. Is that right? No, you can still pattern. No, you can still pattern. Oh, oh that's no! Right. Oh my goodness! Let's all the rocks. <laughs> Delicious. Let's see if this works out. Takes a critical damage. That's a shield. That's the first damage okay. on Gavin, though. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Easy stuff, easy stuff. Man, what a roller coaster this game's been. I would gladly give you a shield today. All right. Seven minutes and change left. John is, oh man, soon to your hot pursuit, baby. You, you're go, you got that bullseye, you got that pred. Do you have range one? Oh, just barely. Just barely range one. Let's go. Soon tier looking for the big money, trying to take out the E-Wing. Four die soon tier. That's a full string. That E-Wing's going down. Got him. Yeah, doesn't even bother with the reroll. Mm -mm. With the structural damage, three is enough. That's right. Bye bye. Takes a damage engine on the way out. All right, Andrew up one thirty three to one twelve. Soon tier doing in game things. All right, uh, gets a uh, shot with the Tie Fighter here. Tie Fighter coming to contribute. Hit crit. I can do it too, Daddy Soon Tier. There it is. Take is you're, you're getting at least one. One fell out the box. All three of those, both of those are going through. Excuse me. You've gotten half points this turn, potentially. Mm -hmm. Got elusive. Got elusive. No, you don't, ma'am. You are not elusive. Man, those, those elusives not helpful. Yeah, I, I feel like when I'm playing the elusive E-Wings, they really do live or die on those elusives. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without somebody like uh, Hera, Jake, or like a dedicated coordinator to give them like focus, evade, uh, they are really reliant on having a green token and rolling some decent paint. Yeah, one of my favorite lists that I've been running at my... Uh, local area is Luke, Corrin, and Ahsoka. And Ahsoka mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. has the, uh, what is it, the uh, concussion with the... You, you spend a force to not need a lot. Instinctive aim. Insti yeah, instinctive aim. And uh, she's mostly just there to give Corrin some, uh, some more mods. Right. Here's a focus. Go out and barrel roll. Here's an evade. Yeah. In case you are... Makes sense to me. With 
Uh, Gavin's still stressed. Gavin did the 5 4 last round. Is that right? You did. Yeah, yeah so kept the stress. He was trying to get out of town, but uh, turns out the city never lets you leave. <laughs> All right, Academy fixes its eyes there, repairing the blinded. Uh, and Suntir's just going hunting here. He he. To be fair, he worked hard to keep Suntir alive for this moment. He did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He did. He did. Yeah, got, got and game beast. Out of the fight early. I mean, John John did a really good job of of basically. Occupying Suntier's time with an E Wing that was still getting shots for several turns. And mm-hmm. it was the 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 called sloop that basically um changed changed the momentum of the game because then it gave Suntier the space he needed to pursue and the E Wing uh, John John didn't see it. He didn't see it coming. He released and uh Suntier's gonna close out the game now. Yeah, you know, you know what sucks though is that he actually was considering doing the barrel roll right instead of left with that E-wing mm. to block the sloop. There you go. And he just he he decided, you know what, I'm gonna block this one instead. Yeah, I seem to look at that. Uh, found the bullseye there. Had to had to imagine all of the boosts and barrel rolls to yeah. make sure he knew In, which one was gonna work. Got to enter the matrix. Pay, um, predator. Three hits, spend for four. Gavin looking sad right now. Spend evade, take one, oh, take three. That's take three. it. A loser. Wow. Still. Andrew claws himself back uh, after uh, an unfortunate start. Suntier shows uh, the prowess. Ends up 200 to 112. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle. Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.